John here guys and today we're talking about the FPV Flight Club. Welcome to Flight Club. Neutron. Now the Neutron and the Proton are a series of frames by FPV Flight Club here in Texas then they have been innovating in the racing quad game for quite some time. Do you remember the uh, the awesome bulbous shaped spaceship looking quad frame, the Tokyo and the Tokyo X, you know, made famous by NB Astro and uh, Seth Hendo? Whatever happened to those guys, by the way? I don't know. Um, that was these guys, FPV Flight Club, and they have one of the coolest and most clever names in all of FPV. Um, and they most recently acquired Vanover himself as their team pilot. That's right, he left X Hover. Now, I believe the main differences between the Neutron and the Proton are this middle metal aluminum plate, uh, which the Neutron has 20 by 20, the Proton has 30 by 30, but most of the other components on here are pretty much the same. Now, this build is quite interesting. Um, it is using the Brother Hobby Speed Shield. Now this is the V1. I think these are the cooler of the two. It is a 2207.5, 1750 kV. This is a monstrous motor. And uh, it is being powered by the Emacs Mini Magnum 2.1 that I love. It is one with the MMCX connector. Uh, over here it has an XM Plus receiver installed. This has the TPU Turtle Mode Fan Pod, and it is running the Foxeer Micro Aero Pro camera um, for your antenna. Have the Illuminator Axie, and I like how this one has the option to point up or down. And pointing down is is kind of nice because when you're flying at a 45, 50 degree camera tilt, you have actually have it kind of pointing up right here. So, in addition to make this build look extra clean, we also have the CL Racing LED lights um, on the arms. And this is mounted with some 3M 30 pound double sided tape and they are not going anywhere. This is such a clean build solution. So this build was actually not built by me, it was built by the famous builder Drago. Uh, not Ivan, but... <laughs> Uh, he is one of the best builders I've ever seen in FPV. If you've ever seen some of the super clean builds done by Catalyst Machine Works on the UAV Features channel, um, those binding flies are built by Alan here in Houston. Mad props. And Drago's builds are the only builder I've seen out in the wild that does equivalent work simply the best the cleanest look at these solder joints they are mirror shine i can check my hair in them that's how clean they are so what do i think about this frame the arm holes have three motor screws in there and these were these guys were one of the first to kind of do that to omit that fourth motor screw leave this solid right here have a little bit more strength at the end of the arm now let's talk about this metal plate. These were the first guys to have, they call this the nucleus plate, I believe. And it has some slots in there that the arms go. This creates that sandwich effect where you have a bottom plate below, the metal plates in between, and then the arms are sandwiched between both of those. That gives you a little bit of added strength and it prevents those annoying arm wiggles. Nobody likes a wiggly arm. Um, so, uh, <laughs> you know, these guys have been doing it for quite a while. Some other notable things that they have been doing are the countersunk screws to keep your battery safe. It comes with this nice um, sticky, not sticky, but it's a very soft battery pad that will keep your battery safe, you know, for anybody that races and has a bottom mount battery you know that the screws that stick out of those bottom plates can often impact whenever you land and mess up your expensive success batteries. So um, the other notable thing that is available for this is the standard top plate. I actually like this fin. It must be printed at a super high 
density because it feels pretty strong. And this is one of the nice touches that they do. They actually have the FPV Flight Club logo kind of embossed on this pod. And uh, that's a feature I don't think I've seen anyone else do. So this should be a setup that not only looks incredibly great, but performs on an amazingly high level. This is pretty much your standard configuration for most of your top racers these days. A 6S compatible stack, Axie antenna, turtle mode enabled pod or flip stick, along with 2207 to 2207.5. That seems to be the most popular size these days on 6S. And, uh, but this, while being extremely power, is still within the realm of reasonable KV. 1750 KV is your sweet spot. Now you have some monsters out there at the very top end, Heads Up and Vanover that are experience, experimenting with higher KV for that additional speed. But for the vast majority of us, 98% of us cannot take advantage of that. You're better off, safer with this. Um, note that in addition to the two capacitors that come on the Emax Mini Magnum, we've also installed an additional capacitor at the pigtail to keep this build incredibly safe from voltage spikes in the event of the crash of a crash. And I'm almost reluctant to go and fly this thing. Look how clean it is. My word, this looks like a, a production class product that you could purchase open up out of a beautiful box and just see this waiting for you. It's, it's just so nice. So thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs>